Uh, my name is Hayden Kaufman and I am from Knoxville, Tennessee. My earliest music memories are definitely um, at my mamaw's pool when I was a little kid. She, she always has this karaoke machine out there and my parents and her would always really push me to do, you know, sing songs for them and I kind of did that. I did like a lot of Elvis Presley stuff like that when I was a kid. Nothing really ever pushed me to do music when I was younger. I'm actually um, as I got older, you know, you have to do chorus and you have to do all these things when you're growing up. In school, I never thought like music was the cool thing to do. You know, like I did, I was always like, oh, I'm doing this because, you know, they make you do something. I'd rather do this than art. You know what I mean? Um, but I didn't really start like really gravitating towards it until I was in college. So nothing really was pushing me there. It's kind of always just something that was something in the back pocket, I guess. The moment I knew I wanted to pursue music was definitely when I was in college. Uh, you know, I had been messing around with some buddies in the dorm that were learning guitar and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, I was walking by one day and my buddy was around to play guitar and I was like, man, I can sing some songs, you know, I this will help you. But then, you know, my sophomore year of college, I went with a friend, I got some tickets to do, uh, to go to a Luke Combs concert at the Ryman down here. Went there, it was badass, it was awesome. Loved every minute of it and I left there and I told the person I was with, I was like, man, that's what I want to do. Like that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. One show that I did when I, when I after I started putting some of these videos out, I was at home on Christmas break my sophomore year, and uh, I heard about this place that does open mic nights from a guy in town. I was like, I went up there one day and I was like, Hey, you know, we'd love to play open mic Wednesday. Um, do you have anything available? And they're like, Well, actually, this Wednesday we have a concert, so we're not doing the open mic, but we do have a slot open on the Friday night show if you want to play. You know, me and two other guys got together and learned about 10, maybe, songs to play. All covers. Um, but yeah, man, it was packed, and I was like, man, this is crazy. Like, these people showing up for something like this, and we're just doing acoustic. And uh, it was really fun, man. I mean, that's that's one of the, it was uh, the open chord in Oxford. When we played that, I was like, man, like, that's, that's a really cool feeling. Yeah, man, I'm super excited. I'm getting the headline of Cotton Eye Joe, uh, September 25th. We're shooting a TV show at the Joe about uh, up and coming artists, you know, going through the video, uh, going through this venue. It's a historic venue, and if you're if you've ever been there, you know that. And if you're in Knoxville, you know that. I mean, they've had everybody, you know, and their brother play there. That's that's a big deal in country music. It's just gonna be cool to be a part of something, you know, positive and fun, and, you know, in these weird times. Uh, you know, we're trying to take advantage of the opportunity, man. It's just it's exciting, and you know. It's cool to me just getting to play the, you know, play the venue. Because I mean, like I said, I've seen guys from Tracy Bird to Morgan Wall and Joe Nichols, kind of guys there. Before I was even in music, so it's cool to be able to sh share the stage with people like that.